Jamie Humphries here for Six String Alliance and welcome to Germany. We are 42 Gear Street 3. Once again, I am presenting to you another gear video. I'm really into this portable rig setup. I've been looking at a few options for putting together little fly rigs. I'm really into fly rigs, the whole kind of uh, idea of integrating amplifiers, portable amplifiers, using impulse responses, uh, for your you know silent uh, speaker options and also having effects units that are powerful and compact. So we are looking at the brand new diesel mini amplifier. This thing is an absolute beast. I'm running it with the HX Stomp XL. I've been using this for a few demos now. Um, for those of you that have seen uh, my channel uh, uh, or seen videos of me shot in the control room, uh, you would have seen my rack of doom, which is uh, uh, laced with uh, vintage, I can say vintage Line 6 gear now because I've been around for such a long time using the old Echo Prime Mod Pros. And also on some other videos, I've been using the HX Effects and I've just been introduced to the HX Stomp XL, which is an updated version of the HX Stomp. And this is a very, very powerful unit. So we just got this here um, primarily just to give me a little bit of... Uh, a uh, little bit of sponginess and confidence boosting when I'm playing uh, to cover up any sins. We always cover up some sins with delay, but I like having a bit of delay in the effects loop. Uh, we're running the diesel into the Captor X up the back there with an impulse response on it. So this is all kind of gear that you will see me using back home in my own studio in Stockholm. So onto this amplifier. So it's a little bit of a uh, bit of a launch video really. And uh, this is brand new out. Now, the diesel amplifiers obviously need no long introduction. I actually know Peter Diesel um, for many years ago, and his amplifiers are built like absolute tanks. I actually demoed one of these amps, and I can't remember the name of it. I demoed it for Guitar Interactive many, many years ago. One of the things, I love diesel amps. I love the sound of them. Obviously, you can uh, see Matt Bellamy from Muse has used diesel amps, and... Uh, James Hetfield has used diesel amps. This goes on. Loads of people use these amplifiers. They're incredibly um, uh, uh, high gain and really well voiced. Lots of low end. So this is like a kind of slightly more budget friendly. I don't like saying cheaper because I don't believe in saying cheaper. I like to just say budget friendly. I think these days... When I was young, um, back somewhere in the mists of time, you know, if I spent 250 quid on a guitar amplifier, it was guaranteed to sound like crap and not be that good. Whereas these days, you know, it's possible for you to, to spend relatively, you know, inexpensively to achieve good equipment. And if you just go that little bit further, um, you can get some really good equipment. And the price point of this amplifier is incredible. You're looking at around uh, 300 euros, I believe, about 250 pounds for this, which is insane. Uh, the front panel of it is a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more straightforward than the Bogner. We were actually looking at the, the little Bogner amplifier. I'm going to put that there. Um, the guys at Boutique Amp Distribution are, are kind of branching into these slightly more cost-effective, smaller solutions. Uh, the We have the Bogner, we have the Friedman one that's been out for a while, which absolutely took the internet by storm. And now we have the Diesel. Um, I haven't played the Friedman one yet. I'm going to have to get that one out, I think. But uh, I'm very much into this, uh, this Diesel. So the front panel of it, a little bit more straightforward. We have a master control. We have a deep, and uh, which is obviously the low end. That's kind of your post um post preamp low end so like on your power stage and the presence control so you can add a little bit more thud to the tone and you can also add a little bit more top end sheen we have a bass control mid range and treble control and we have gain this is a 30 watt amplifier and we also have an effects loop that's how we're running the line six for a little bit of post effects a little bit of uh um, uh, uh, delay and some reverb as well we have. So let's have an um, experiment with controls. First of all, let's drop the gain control down. Should mention the guitar. Early ball music, man. What can I say? Been using them for 23 years. So I'm using a Luke. This is a Sterling by Music Man Luke. 
and uh, it's, it's a great guitar, lots of options with the five-way switch. We've also got a boost control on this guitar. I actually had the same boost on my custom Axis that I own. Uh, it's really nice if you want to go one louder, then you can just hit that control. So... <laughs> so I can't help but kick in the, uh, the delay from the line six. It just makes me feel at home. So uh, the gain control, obviously lower gain, so it's possible to get some of those more vintage. Let's have a little bit of reverb from the uh, line six. No one's ever played cream riffs on a diesel before. It's always a first. So we've got some lower gain there. And we can start to push that up a little bit. Sound of the reverb off so you can just hear the, the sound of the amplifier. Push the gain up. That is absolutely ridiculous. So let's have a look at the, the EQ controls, the top end. I always worry a little bit, I have to say this, I always worry a bit about how accurate I'm hearing, but I'm just using a, a monitor speaker in here. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I sometimes worry about the accuracy of what I'm monitoring to what I'm uh, hearing uh, uh, the, uh, uh, from the amplifier, if that makes sense, you know, what the controls are doing. So it sounds like it, we have a very broad scope there of treble. Let's have a listen to the mid-range. Yeah, that's a really good control. Drop the gain down a bit. You can get that kind of squawky. Uh, bit of reverb. This is fantastic. So a diesel will kind of do blue sound as well. That's nice with the mid-range pushed up. The bass control. That's really, really reactive um, control. Okay, onto the, um, let's push the gain up now, get that. Uh, and if we push up the deep control. That's a great control, that. I'm going to get my massive fingers on the knobs there. Um, that's a, a, again, it's really impressive how much range these controls have in terms of affecting the EQ. And then we have the... the, uh, the I'm just 
just adding a little bit of the pitch detune. I love that kind of sort of Van Halen-esque uh, 90s uh, pitch shifting chorus effect, but just mainly a bit of delay on there from the, uh, the HX stomp. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a fun amp to play. So again, you know, a fantastic portable solution. You've got an incredibly powerful effects unit there with the HX Stomp XL. We've got that running in the effects loop, just adding a little bit of delay, really. I just like having a bit of digital delay on my sound. And then the portability of this 30 watt diesel. This is a fantastic amplifier. I think uh, I've played the other amplifier. Uh, we've got, don't forget, we have the, the Bogner as well. This is great. But I must admit, I'm leaning a bit more to that. Oh, that's an interesting point, actually. Look, we can see the rear of these amps there. You can see that there. Yeah, so you've got your uh, your speaker outputs there, and then you've got the effect send and return. All of that in this little compact amp, and that's the same on the rear of that amplifier, 30 watts. So uh, these are fantastic. You know, what a great little rig. These two units, amplifier, effects unit, and then... Uh, like I said, I'm running the Captor X, and that would be a nice, you could have the whole thing on a pedal ball. Okay, so that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this amp. Very excited to be playing through this amplifier. Big thanks to Boutique Amp Distribution uh, for letting me demo the gear, and also a big shout out to Line 6 Europe for uh, helping out as well and supplying the, uh, the HX Stomp XL. Check out both of these pieces of equipment. You can find some links in the description. Massive shout out to Henning for putting this event on. I'm having a great time. So uh, yeah, that's it for me. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. Bye for now.